Greetings, people of God. Greetings, greetings, greetings. I'm sitting here and I'm on, I'm on Facebook. You know, and um, I'm just reading like it amazes me how many. Okay, the, first of all, let me tell you the topic. I don't know if this had anything to do with my video, but the topic is of this is should a Christian date a Muslim? If so, why? If not, why? And it, it just amazes me the responses these people are giving. One person said, date whoever makes you happy. Opinions of others shouldn't affect your happiness. That's right, God's opinion shouldn't affect your happiness. One girl said, now this... Now this really blew my mind that this girl said, she said... Date, yes. Marry, no. And I don't want to stop here. Before I read the rest of the comment. If, if marriage is not your aim, then why date them? If you can't see yourself marrying this individual, then why date them? Because, first of all, everything is a process. You get to know a person, you date, you get engaged, you get married. You don't start off dating them. So in my getting to know them process, in my getting to know them process, I should already be able to, to, to know within myself, I can see whether I marry this person or not. She's saying she would date them, but wouldn't marry them. What, what is the purpose? She said, date, yes, marriage, no. I've married a Jehovah Witness, great man, but it's hard to be married to a man outside my religion. I'm completely confused. Another girl said, nope. I mean, I wouldn't date someone who doesn't believe in the same as me. That makes it unequally yoke. Bravo to her. Bravo, bravo, bravo. Another one said, you sure could. Everyone can love anyone. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. But I'm not going to marry you. <sighs> So I responded to a comment. And, and I hope this, one, this woman don't take this the wrong way. But I'm just reading the comments because I believe she is subscribed to our channel. And she watched our channel. But she said... They read and believe in all the Bible. And another girl that I know, she said, but who are they serving? And, and, and she said, God, our God. I said, now I don't, I try not to get in debate, but this is not really, on my part, it's not really a debate. It's trying to help somebody open somebody's eyes. I said, it's not the same religion because they're serving another God. Plus, they believe Jesus was a prophet, not the Son of God. Our whole salvation is based on the work of the cross and what Jesus did for us. If a person does not believe that, you are wrong for dating them. Someone comes behind me and they says, Coming from someone that is with a Muslim, we all believe in the same God. Only difference is that they do believe that Jesus was a prophet and not the Son of God. So I responded to that, and this is my last response. Mm, I just saw something. I just saw something. But anyway, this this is my last response. And the problem with that is. I'm, I'm responding to the lady. And the problem with that is, a mortal man can't give you eternal life. So to a Muslim, the work of the cross is a, a, a complete lie. Excuse me. The work of the cross is a complete lie. The Bible says, he who does not have the son does not have the father either. 
If they don't believe Jesus is the son of God, then they're not saved. If God wants you saved, then he wants your partner saved as well. We don't date and marry outside the kingdom. It's one thing to give your life to the Lord after being married. But we don't go outside of God for anything. What God has for you is in his kingdom. Now the other girl responds. She said, everything you said to Moses is correct. And I will most marry a Christian. I was joking earlier about marrying out of that. But I have dated and will date outside of my religion. I see nothing wrong with that. Let me tell you what's wrong with that. First of all, somebody that don't believe as you believe will, will not uphold your standards. And plus... God says, come out from among them. Now, let me tell you, one of God's biggest problems with Israel, when they would turn their back, when they turn their back on God, and, and they would mingle with other nations. And God said, not to mingle with the other nations, because they will turn your heart from me. And, and let me say this, that I don't want to make this a long video, but somebody that's hungry for God, and has a desire to go all the way with God. Want somebody that's the same. And I'm saying this not to offend nobody, but this is truth. Watch this. When you are willing to date outside of God, it's because you yourself are falling away. You are drifting away. Because everybody, come on, lions hang together. Tigers hang together. Zebras are together. Everyone hangs with their kind. Their kind. When you, you don't go outside of God into the enemy's kingdom for anything. Come on. You want somebody, when you want God, you want somebody of God that can encourage you, that can take you further, that can better you, that can push you into a deeper relationship with God, that can pray for you. Come on. I don't want nobody praying to Allah for me. If you want to talk to Allah, that's you. But my God is real. Jesus is real. And yes, the Muslims believe he's real, but they only believe that he was a prophet. Now, as I said over there on uh, Facebook, the problem with Jesus just being a prophet is that a man, a mortal man cannot give you eternal life. Which, which means this whole salvation thing, which is based on the cross of Christ, the, the work of the cross, and Jesus dying for us. Remember now in the Old Testament, I'm going back and forth now. Remember now in the Old Testament, when man was sacrificed to God, it was only good enough. When the priest was sacrificed for God, it was only good enough for one year. For one year. So how can a mortal man give you eternal life? I tell you, my mind is all over the place right now. It's all over the place right now. If you would not marry outside the kingdom why would you date outside the kingdom come on when, when, when you love God you love what he loves you hate what he hates when you date outside the kingdom you get around people that don't have the same values and morals as you. They don't uphold the same things that you uphold. Their music, their music is different. Their TV is different. Their conversation is different. Why would you want to be with somebody that don't see a problem with fornication? Why would you want to be with somebody that don't see a problem with sin? I tell you, I'm, I'm utterly confused. And the best I could do now is just pray because I'm not going to go back and forth. 
I'm not gonna go back. It's not an argument. I don't even really see that as a debate. But Lord help us. Help us, help us, help us. You know what? Uh, I was talking to somebody and I didn't know their business because the Lord dropped it in my spirit. Pow! You know what we call a knowing. The Lord dropped it in my spirit. And I said, I said to this person, I said, are you dating somebody? I didn't know their business. I said, are you dating somebody that backslid on God? Didn't know this person business, didn't hang around them or nothing. I said, are you dating someone that backslid on God? And they said, yes. I said, God told me to tell you, come out from among them. This was actually the second time he told me to tell somebody those words. God told me to tell you, come out from among them. And you know what it turned out to be? That this person was dating a backslider. This, this person was dating someone that used to preach the gospel, but now they're going back out in the world. If God does not want you dating somebody that was walking with him and just turned back, why would he want you dating someone that still had knowledge of God? Why would he want you dating someone that's a Muslim? God does not want you dating outside the kingdom. If he wants you saved, it only makes sense that he wants your partner saved as well. Because you need a man, ladies, that can lead you. Where is he going to lead you if it's not in God? I'm about to end this video. This is... I'm about to go pray, y'all. I'm about to go pray. Anyway. We don't date outside. Come on, when you love God, you want what God wants for you. You want somebody that's on the same page. You want somebody on the same page as you. I don't, I don't know what to say about that, y'all. No. You, would, you, would, you would not marry outside the kingdom, but you would date outside. If you would date outside the kingdom, you might as well marry outside the kingdom. What's your purpose? I mean, where, where is this dating leading to? What's the purpose of dating? Come on, you don't date somebody you can't see yourself marrying. It's a waste of time. That's a complete waste of time. Let me tell you, and I, I said this and I'm going to say it again. If you would date outside of God, it's because you have already fallen away. You are already falling away. And I say that not to offend anyone, because I know these people, not to offend anyone, but just because I know you, I can't, I can't hold back truth. I can't bite my tongue because I know you, because this is not an attack on anyone. I'm talking to everyone. If you date outside of God, it's because you're already falling away and the enemy is sifting you. And the little bit that you're holding on to, the little bit left that you're holding on to of God, he, and in this relationship, in this sinful relationship, in this relationship where you're stepping outside of God to date some outside of God, the enemy is going to break you down till you no longer claim God at all. <sighs> That's it, y'all. I'm just...